Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be sharing with you my experience as a new mom. And I will also be doing a one month baby update. If you're interested in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and just keep on watching. Okay, so to start off, I'm going to go ahead and start off with how I've been as a new mom and the experience of parenthood. parenthood. So um, I have a couple topics I want to go over and I will kind of just go with the flow and share with you um, what I've been dealing with and what I've been experiencing and learning. And then at the end, I will go ahead and go over baby boy's um, information. So for me, I'm currently seven weeks postpartum and I'll just go ahead and start with that. Um, giving birth is a amazing thing and something that people don't tell you is just how it can be mentally draining on you. Um, postpartum depression was something that I was aware of from the start and I constantly thought about how it might affect me and um, just praying that it didn't affect me and for the most part I don't know if it did I feel like I had my days I told my doctor I felt like I've been in a wave or some days I'm at my lows and some days I'm so high and I it's gotten a lot better recently and I'll share with you why I think so but basically how I was the first couple of weeks I will have days where I'm just so excited to be a mom and to just be present and then there's days where I'm just like I just want to sleep I I'm just like going through the motions so some things that I did to try to avoid staying at a low has just been like making sure every day I'm opening up the windows making sure I'm taking care of myself even though it's been super hard for me to make sure I'm eating like on a regular schedule so that's something that I've been keep trying to do better at is just making sure I'm eating and feeding myself and taking like little bit bits of time for myself so that I'm not getting overwhelmed and stressed and worried or all of that. Um, so I don't want this video whole video to be about postpartum depression, but I just wanted that to be the start. Um, basic, I'm, I'm doing so much better now. I noticed that once the weather got better, because right now we've been having this on and off good and bad weather. So once the weather is good, I'm like in the best mood ever. I want to be outside. I want to enjoy the day. But when it's like hazy, bad air quality, um, and I feel like I'm trapped inside, that's when I don't do well. So um, that's so that's been my issue. Has just been having that um, freedom to kind of do what I want when. I want I want him to get outside and just enjoy the day but it's been really hard to do that because of the weather um, so that's that um, something that I'm very dealing with is trying to get on a schedule as far as the baby I know it's impossible to put him on a schedule so young maybe not impossible but it's probably really hard and I'm not trying to put him on a schedule I'm trying to put me on a schedule so that when he gets a little bit older, he's used to a routine. Which doesn't mean I need to be like super strategic and be like um, like down to the minute on everything we do, but I definitely want a habit. So like waking up and um, getting him ready for the day and going on walks and making sure his schedule as far as eating is doing good. Things like that is what I'm overly stressed about. And I wanna make sure to um, continue to implement so that's been kind of hard because I feel like moving into the next topic is sleep I feel like my sleep schedule has been so off I hardly get any sleep which makes it difficult coming in the morning to try to get up get a workout in try to go for a walk it makes it really hard so I feel like I'm going back and forth between wanting to be like wanting to get this ideal ideal day down and just wanting to go by the flow based off of how much energy I have. So that's been something I've been kind of going back and forth with, but it's something I definitely want to incorporate. Talk about like my sleep. Oh my goodness, it's so hard to get sleep. I know that they people say this as a new parent, like say goodbye to sleep. It's so true. Like 
even with a partner home and having their help, it's hard because, especially if you're breastfeeding, like you basically are still constantly waking up to check on your baby, to make sure he's okay, to feed him, to put, put him back to sleep. So it's a long process and I feel like I'm kind of just ranting. I will have some more videos coming out going into more detail on some of these topics so stay tuned for that but for example um my my son has acid reflux where basically after he eats he gets really uncomfortable and in a lot of pain and to avoid him or to try to help prevent it we have to like keep him upright for about 30 to 45 minutes after he eats and so on top of burping him i have to just hold him for so long until he feels settled like I feel like he's settled and he's ready to lay down and go back to sleep so in the middle of the night that's kind of hard like being woken up out of your sleep for an hour plus every night or sometimes twice a night it's hard to get a full night's rest so and I don't think I've had I think I think the most sleep I've had was six hours and that was just this past weekend when I was out of town um, in Pismo Beach so we're still working on the sleep for me, as far as me. And becoming a parent has allowed me to just worry so much more than I worried already before. He is um, like, just making sure that he's okay and breathing and wet, like healthy has been, um, it just causes a lot of worry. Like it's, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You wanna make sure your child's safe and okay. So like in the middle of the night, I'm constantly checking on him, making sure he's still moving, breathing. And then I something that helped me with just making it a little bit easier on me was the outlet sock. And that is just um, a device that you put on his foot and it monitors his um, oxygen level and his, what's it called? Oh, his heartbeat or his heart rate. So that's been really like a relief. Um, so yeah. Becoming a parent has allowed me to stress a lot and worry a lot more about a little human and I'm trying to keep alive. And um, just like any little thing that happens to him, I instantly freak out. Like when I knew there was something wrong with him as far as his stomach or I just knew he was in pain, I const I quickly took him. I'm talking about you, Papas. Yes, I am. I quickly took him to his pediatrician to check on him, make sure it was okay, everything was okay. and. I took him back again just as a follow-up and, and sure enough it was something wrong with him it was his acid reflux that's causing him a lot of pain and discomfort and then like recently he had a whole bunch of like eye boogers in one of his eye and to the point where like it was drying up and it looked disgusting and i'll insert a clip here um it just looks so painful and even though i know like sometimes i wake up with dry eye boogers but for him to be so small and to see that big old thing on his face it's kind of scary and when we mentioned it to his doctor at his next appointment and she just said um it's just a clogged tear duct and it happens um she said her kids both had it and she told me to help prevent it by um applying a small drop a small drop of um, breast milk into the corner of his eye and I've done that two or three times and I did it to, like once when it was like after we left the doctor's office and then I did it a couple more times but I haven't noticed it happening any like again I just keep an eye out on it and make sure it's not building up any um, eye boogers or anything um, so yeah that's how it's been for me those are like the main things that have been on my mind and just how it has been adjusting trying to adjust to this new lifestyle that I freaking love. So now to move on to him, um, for those of you guys that don't know, his name is Jedediah Jaseel Garcia. Um, he's seven weeks old and just to give you guys a little bit of information on him, the last appointment we went to he was 11 pounds eight ounces and they were, the doctor was actually concerned that his weight hadn't improved enough within the time from the last time she saw him so we're making sure we're feeding him enough um, I do breastfeed him um, he only drinks breast milk but I do feed him milk from a bottle as well um, so I do feed him uh, milk from a bottle and that's because I don't feel like 
from the start he was like that's how I like feeling like I know he's getting enough food um, so I try to breastfeed him a couple times a day and then I will bottle feed there's some days I bottle feed all day there's some days I breastfeed all day it just kind of depends but um, he's definitely on and off with breastfeeding like he can latch pretty well now better on my right boob than the left but he knows how to latch he can eat but he gets impatient so after the letdown um, he gets impatient as far as how fast the milk is coming out so he gets really fussy and sometimes that can be stressful on me especially if it's the middle of the night I don't have a bottle ready I haven't pumped and I'm trying to feed him but he doesn't want to be patient and feed he still has a head full of hair his hair is really curly he loves taking baths but he does not like being cold so we have to get him quickly dressed or like warm and dressed after a bath um, something that has been helping has been to feed him before like a little bit before he, he takes a bath take him a bath and then feed him after and i love our nighttime routine but it's not that consistent it's only when he takes baths so after his bath we feed we hang out in his room we hear music we pray we read books and then he goes to sleep I want to be able to do that every night with him regardless of if he takes a bath or not just so he's in a routine um, as far as his nighttime routine preparing him for bed for bed so that he sleeps better at night um, his skin looks good he what else he likes to sit up like not sit up but like anytime you're holding him he loves to throw his head back like he loves his head up and looking around and I thought he's been doing that for like since he was like two weeks old and I was like this boy is too small to be lifting his head but that's how he is he likes to look around and just to be independent as far as like like looking around let's see if he'll look this way bye bye he is in love with his binky he um the only time he doesn't have it in his mouth is if he falls asleep and it comes out or he takes it or like it falls out he's fine or if He's like talking and laughing or playing um, and then he doesn't mind it but other than that he has to have this thing in his mouth or he will have a fit and I feel like that is exactly how I used to be when I was a baby what else we try to do tummy time with him at least once a day on his little mat but if we don't do it on his mat then I he'll do he'll get his tummy time in on, on our chest because he's always lifting his head up and recently the past I would say like two weeks like since he was like five weeks old um, he loves to um like he'll start talking like not talking but like cooing a little bit so like if you talk to him he will start responding and i think it's the cutest thing ever and he always makes me smile and happy just to see him like like laughing or not laughing he doesn't laugh but just to see a smile on his face and just hear him like try to talk i'll insert a clip here because <laughs> it's so cute and i love him so much i think that's it as far as one month update for him he is seven weeks and one day today yesterday he just turned seven weeks he's almost two months and i think it's crazy that i'm almost gonna have a two month year old whoa good for a purpose hi hi baby you want to say hi do you want to say hi no, you don't want to say hi. He's so sweet. Look at that face. Mm. He just woke up not too long ago, fussing while I was getting ready and showering. He fell asleep. Look at him holding his neck up. Look at you holding your neck up. Huh? My baby's got a strong neck, huh? He's super strong. Look at him. Yeah, you are. Wow, look at me, Jedediah. Um, oh, the sleepy baby. Hi, Papa. Hi. He's so sweet. He's such a good baby. He only cries really when, well, he fusses a lot for his binky and for food. And the only time he cries is if those two things are not being met quick enough. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about my experience as a new mom and my baby boy that's almost two months old. I want to try to um, do his monthly updates just so that I can go back and see his accomplishments and everything that he was experiencing and doing at that age. So be prepared for those types of videos. 
Um, if you have any other types of ideas for videos I can make, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys next time.